goes to all the faculty members of the department of the social work and other departments of our university, the participants, child champions, resource persons, officials from the directorate of school education, save the children team, the scholars and students for actively participating in the event. My thanks and welcome goes to all the Zavios principals from different districts who have been here from the early morning. I also thank and welcome the team from HCL who were with us from the morning and this program is possible with their support and collaboration. Ma'am, for your information, this program is possible by the efforts which are made at the grassroots level by the child champions. Ma'am, for your information, this program has 30 child champions who are participating in this event. We need to understand what kind of issues our children are facing every day. The little the, the steps which the children have taken, many of them have taken very important steps. Stopping a child marriage. Don't you think that it's a very important initiative? The Insha child champion who has faced a lot of abuse in the school, how she has overcome that. And ma'am, this has been possible by the support of all the teachers who have come here from different districts. And this program will definitely will not stop here. We are also launching an app today, which has been possible only by the dedication of the Save the Children, SCL, the staff from the Directorate of School Education. Ma'am, we hope that we make some efforts so that the children of this place live in a safe environment, happy environment and contribute towards their development and contribute for the society's development. Thank you very much. Our children, uh, child uh, champions and I can also see with them uh, various officers of school education not only from Srinagar district. I can recognize some people even from Anatnag, Baramula and others. So I am sure that it must have been a very uh, informative and uh, very uh, thought provoking type of uh, sessions. I was going through the, uh, you know, the uh, various sessions which have been uh, conducted. Huge number of uh, topics have been covered. I'm sure all of them must have been very informative. I was also going through uh, what the contents of the manual are. Uh, I think uh, very well addressed, various issues have been addressed. Uh, in fact, uh, Save the Children organization, uh, one of the globally recognized uh, organization which is immensely doing lots of uh, work, not only at the national, our own, uh, you know, JNK level, but at the international level too. Uh, I'm happy that the uh, Department of Social Work has collaborated with them and uh, again in future also we should try to venture in such type of activities. It's one of the very important parameter of uh, school education that's peace uh, education and uh, I'm sure that uh, our children will be benefited by it. Uh, peace is very important. Uh, peace of mind is very important. We always say it, you know, uh, let it go. My peace of mind is uh, very important. Same with the peace, education is very important. Uh, I must say that, you know, sometime, long time back, I also attended one of the training uh, modules of UNICEF pertaining to peace uh, education, but then got uh, disconnected. I'm very happy that our university has got connected to, uh, you know, this type of program, uh, you know, uh, well thought of uh, from Department of uh, Social Work. I'm happy you have collaborated very important stakeholders uh, for this program. That is our, uh, you know, school education uh, department. Uh, and I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, whatever narratives our children have given over here must be very thought-provoking and encouraging. Uh, I would definitely like that uh, some of the narratives 
which are really uh, you know motivating factors for others if we can document them uh, it could be very good if you can document with the pictures of the uh, students they are uh, you know uh, uh, champions they must have watched television we have little champions that's the musical event that we have on television yesterday uh, you know i was very happy uh, to watch one of the uh, little champion you know uh, uh, when she used to come as a small child as a small girl today she's grown up and she performed in our convocation complex sanjida i was so uh, happy to see her so the type of confidence she has now so similarly when you have that confidence you will be peace ambassadors tomorrow you can be placed in different national international and state setups where you educate for peace and peace education so i am sure the type of training and uh, the type of awareness that you will get through these modules through this type of a manual tomorrow uh, you will be ambassadors of peace education everywhere not only uh, you'll be benefited yourself your peer group or your school even it will go to the society uh, with these words i congratulate department of social work our uh, school education department save the children for taking this initiative and organizing this particular program in our uh, university they are always welcome to have such type of initiatives in our university which are directly uh, connected with the society and uh, we all want that our children should have holistic development and they should contribute even as children to our society when we see that uh, the education system whether in the developed countries or the underdeveloped or the developing countries like india we see that uh, the india is at present the second largest uh, network of education system in the world and uh, earlier we used to say that there are different agencies and agents of socialization and uh, the preeminence on the primary agent of socialization was considered as the family but uh, when we when we see the today's scenario of education and the family system in india also uh, we send our children we send our progeny at the age of 2 or 3 to the crutches and to the primary schools and probably in my thinking or in my thoughts it becomes now the primary agency of socialization is now the schools or the primary schools in indian education system and the values of the peace education which is imparted and inculcated among the children that is the best way to make them best human beings again it reminds me of the of a study which i have carried long back when i was doing my research i had a project Uh, given by ministry of social justice and empowerment probably it was on the uh, issues of physically abled children in the primary schools because we don't have specialized schools in overall india we have less number of specialized schools and in jnk i hardly see any specialized school for the uh, physically abled children and uh, our children face lot of issues in the school education system when a child if he has a physically handicap of eye ear or two or anything we call him by the name of whatever the physical disability he suffers and normally it is uh, what i have seen also what i have observed and we have just researched also earlier that good number of school children have dropped who were physically able they have dropped from the school because they were either called in names in the school by their peer groups or they were discouraged by the seniors and the teachers also so we need to inculcate and impart such type of values among our teachers among our selves first then among our teachers and the student also 
which will go a long way in dismantling or uh, uh, giving a solution to this issue at school level. And uh, if we have to talk of a productive nation, of a developing nation, we need to have the productive human resource at all levels. And probably this will be the best way the teaching and the imparting of peace education at the lower level, it should start from the primary or the pre-primary level only. मेरा तरफ से सबसे पहले तो अगर एक ideal platform होता है जहाँ पे such a discussion could happen, I couldn't have imagined it better than the one there is, because happening under the aegis, first of all in Gandhi Bhavan and under the aegis of a university and with all stakeholders, sabhi ke sabhi stakeholders maujood hai and uh, क्वाइट ऑफन हम लोग अलग अलग फोरम्स में बोलते आए हैं और मैंने भी सोचा था कि शेयर करूंगा आज सवेरे कि अक्सर बोला जाता है कि टेक्स अ होल वर्ल्ड टू होल विलेज टू रेज अ चाइल्ड अक्सर बोला जाता है तो मैं भी सोचा था ये बोलूँगा लेकिन माय डे चिल्ड्रन आज मैं जाके उसको थोड़ा सा रिवर्स करने वाला हूँ आप लोगों को सुनने के बाद I think uh, it takes just one child to raise the whole world and bring them to their attention. क्योंकि आप में से हर एक से जिससे सुना आज और जिस बुलंदी से बोले और जो बोले और जो बोलने के पीछे सोच थी मेरे ख्याल से अगर हमको कभी सक्सेस मेजर करना है तो देर इज नो बेटर एविडेंस देन कि इन बच्चों की जुबान थी और उस जुबान में शब्द है और उन लफ्जों से मतलब बहुत कुछ कहीं गहरे मतलब अंडरस्टैंडिंग को डेमॉन्स्ट्रेट किया एंड दूसरा मैं ये चाहूँगा कि पीस एजुकेशन पीस मतलब अमन इज़ अ ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड एक्चुअली मतलब बहुत ही अपने में ही बहुत प्यारा शब्द है अगर सारी बच्चों की बातें सुनकर मेरे को एक नया कंक्लूजन ड्रॉ करना है तो ये था कि only alternative to peace education is education remaining in pieces in different small pieces and which means education cannot happen if it is in pieces because it does not enable it then disables so mere khayal se peace education is a wonderful complement on all others so if various forms of education you see as verticals alag alag cheeze तो पीस एजुकेशन इज द अंडरलाइंग हॉरिजॉन्टल जो एक बैलेंस या नींव रख सकता है जिसके ऊपर यू कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ यू नो फ्यूचरिस्टिक थिंग क्वाइट सम टाइम्स नाउ डेज इट इज सेड दैट इंडिया एस्पायर्स टू बी डेवलप्ड बाय 2047, 25 ट्वेंटी इयर्स सो अ चाइल्ड बॉर्न टुडे विल बी 25 फाइव देन and what environment we promise the child how we enable the children for their learning ye sab hamare liye invitation hai so if we are supporting and enabling this country's future to be a developed country i think the start is from education and education ka start is with a foundation on peace education these kids are basically the bearers of motion they can actually help us to really carry the message and try to circulate that message among the Uh, policy holders as well as among all of us who try to understand what really the theme is we always talk about peace as the backbone of development and uh, my friend uh, mr mohammad sharif actually pointed out that this is a theme they have already started way back in the ladakh belt i interacted with him some time back when i came here and he disclosed this to me and i told him that i worked on ladakh and i know exactly what they have done in ladakh what the concept in ladakh was and what the concept in ladakh now is when i visited ladakh in the early duration of my phd work i saw that the number of schools and the education and awareness to the children was not as dominant as it is nowadays they have tried to actually uplift education as a whole and try to induce in them the concept of peace the development of educational institutions the concept of teaching concept of sharing the information as well as supporting students have become backbone of the development of ladakh 
I have seen Ladakh in the beginning when I visited as a research scholar after completing my master's. And I have seen Ladakh way back in 2017 again. The change is enormous. And the concepts have been in turn helping the students to understand what the concept of peace is, concept of education is, concept of sharing the knowledge of education to induce the concept of peace in each other. See, when we talk about peace, generally the general theme is that we should actually be supportive of each other and trying to understand and listen to each other. But peace does not mean only that. Peace concept is exactly to understand what are the fundamental drawbacks of the system which create ridges between two communities, two members of the same family or two members of the same locality. And how students can actually take a message that they can understand or they do understand what the peace is and they can in turn share that information with others. And if we train the kids from the younger stages, that message will in turn become a backbone of spreading this. As was rightly pointed out, that we can start, say, in the year 2022, within a span of, say, 20 years, the young born kids will actually carry with them this message and they will in turn be able to share that with all the, not only their friend circle or all the others who can actually bear the benefits of those concepts or those themes. To sum it up, because we have had a lengthy day and there were so many uh, panel discussions, we have had three panel discussions and all the panelists deliberated on diverse themes which were given to them. But I am reminded of a very good poet, uh, Gabriel Mistral. He is a, was a Chilean poet and he says that we are guilty of many errors and many faults. But our worst crime is abandoning the children, neglecting the fountain of life. Many of the things we need can wait, the child cannot. Right now is the time his bones are being formed, his blood is being made, and his senses are being developed. I think this is the time when we are talking about peace education, all education for peace, while going through this whole manual, you know, it reflects, it mentions culture of peace. How we can create culture of peace among our children so that they can, you know, in their daily routine life, respond, act in such a manner that reflects that they are peaceful in nature.